what is up haven't made a video in a long time since my last video uh but look what i got i got the current tower my old tower and robert's tower and right now i gotta go to the office pick up some my parts yeah all this boots up i'm gonna put on some shoes and shit Welcome back to another episode of PC stuff. I don't know. I don't call it whatever you want. This is uh, sort of cleaned out. I have the radiator mounted. Uh, no fan, so. And as far as Robert's computer, uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. I tried to do some cable management. That didn't work out. Yeah, everything's running fine. I threw in my uh, 660 video card in here. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to set up Plex for them and have that as their Plex server because at the moment, he's in the process of collecting parts. And so far, we have Prime X470 board and the View 71. And you have these three or two. Also, I started doing a just a layout for the drawer PC and this is what I came up with so far I'll be able to put these two things the power supply and the hard drive cage but the current motherboard and um, my Corsair case that motherboard is too long so I have to get uh, maybe a micro ATX board to make it fit and um, maybe mount some fans in the back so it could blow the hot air to the back but I'm not sure yet. I might not even do this anymore because I need to get a new motherboard. Given it is only like 50 bucks, but it's like that's 50 bucks I can use towards something else. And with the hard drive cage standing up, the drawer doesn't close. So I have to reevaluate. Ah, ah. Okay, but what's going on with the tower? I got my video card back. Uh, it's running. I haven't, I haven't taken it apart and put the water block on yet because i was waiting for the new components to come in so then i'll just do it all at once in one shot but i did get uh my frozen cpu stuff which is just the thermal pads for the video card uh was gonna reuse uh whatever i had left on the water block but i decided not to because it wasn't enough and i decided to throw them away so uh this is what's left of it cleaned it out there's no more residue in it Clean off thermal paste. And here's some thermal pads left. And that is the burn mark. So if this was on here, and the burn mark is right there, these are where the leaks were coming from. Yeah. It's unfortunate what happened, but you know, you live, you learn. I'm not bummed out about it. I'm not bummed out about it. You know, I'm not bummed about it at all. I need to finish this pre-workout and go pick up my parts. I hope the boxes isn't too big because I don't think I could carry a camera and a giant box. But we'll see. They did. And it's open. Okay, let's go get my stuff. When you kiss my cheek, my knees get weak, my heart just skip the beat. Oh wow, she cleaned this out. Cool. Watch out before you turn into orange chicken. Bubble wrap. Well. Sakamoto is going to have a ball with this. 
There you go, buddy. And bam. There we have it. A Ryzen 7 2700X. We got a 240 gig M.2 SSD. RGB RAM at 16 gigs. DDR4. I believe this is 3000. Yep, 3000 megahertz. And the X470 Boris. Ooh. RGB, I'm pretty sure. Maybe RGB up there, maybe RGB over here. I don't know. And they said there's two slots for M.2. One here, one there. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I like, uh, I actually like Robert's motherboard. Why, well, let me show you. With uh, Robert's motherboard, is white. White and silver. That's a nice color combo. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty good. And he has, I guess the salesman told him when he purchased this that there was a M.2 slot behind the motherboard and under the heatsink. Heatsink 3, maybe? I don't know. I'll look into it. All right. That's cool. I got that out the way. That's pretty much going to be it for the video. Um, I do have to go to work today, so I have to get ready, hit the gym, make my lunch, all that stuff, whatever. You know, it's Phil. Um, but first things first, I need to move or I need to transfer all this into here. I won't do the um, drawer anymore because the motherboard's too big. I think the motherboard's 10 by 12 and what fits inside the drawers. I mean, that'll fit without the power supply and the hard drive cage, but I need to, I need to have those in there. So I'm probably gonna get a um, micro ATX board or an iATX board. I don't know, something smaller. And trying to find an AM3 Plus socket motherboard at this day and age where everybody's pushing Ryzen or Intel's, um, I'm probably gonna either find it refurbished or really expensive. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys stay tuned for um, the upgrades and stay tuned for Robert's build whenever he finished collecting parts. I will see you in the next one. No one, 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 no